Hi there. In this video, we'll be covering how to get started with our integration between white charts and iReval. To begin, head to the support dropdown at the top of the page and navigate to the integrations page. Here, you'll find a list of all the integrations that white charts has to offer. We'll find iReval listed alongside the Schwab Advisor Center here in the middle, and the login process will be the same. We'll head to the Manix dropdown at the right side of the screen and select Activate. And this will lead us to the login portal, where you can go ahead and enter in your credentials and activate the integration. Once activated, you'll find that reflected back on our integrations page with our status updating, showing us the green check mark, letting us know that we are ready to start using the integration. To do so, I'll head to the tools dropdown and select portfolios. In the top right corner, you'll find our option to import holdings. So by selecting that, I'll find the same option for the Schwab Advisor Center and iRebell. I'll select this option, which will open up a pop-up window to begin our search. You'll first find a dropdown to select the type of account or model that you want to be searching for, with the last three being specific to iRebell. So I'm going to go ahead and select the models in iRebell and enter in my search. I'll then select the model that I want to import. I want to import the account holdings. So I'll select this option and then import. This will launch me into the portfolio editor where I can view those holdings as well as edit any of the settings on this portfolio. So I can swap out the benchmark, I can edit the rebalance frequency or add an advisory fee. But once I'm all done, I'll go ahead and select Save, which will bring me back to my Portfolios page and allow that to calculate. Once that's finished calculating, I can go ahead and select on this model to open up its quote page and begin to view all the great data that YCharts has to offer. I can view some of my key stats, the asset allocation, the top holdings, and even more. I can also jump into some other tools like Scenarios or Portfolio Optimizer to further analyze and make enhancements to this model. Once I've finished analyzing and making those enhancements, I can send this model back to iRebal. I can do this through the Actions dropdown at the top right of the screen by selecting Push to iRebal. This will prompt me to update or give it a new name. So I'm just going to note that this is my updated portfolio. Again, I've gone through and analyzing this portfolio in white charts. Uh, maybe I've used the portfolio optimizer to look for some alternative um, asset allocations, etc. And once I've made those adjustments to my portfolio, I can easily push this back to iReval, where I can view it there and implement it um, into my process. So that covers our integration between white charts and iReval. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to your white charts support representative.